Hey, it's Joel. Mario Block is out. It's Friday. Happy Friday. And it's time once again for another Fan Mail Friday. To my left, your right, there are three things to open up. A letter, two packages. I think what we should do is start with the letter and move on from there. So let's just, let's get down to it. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. Inside, we have a typed letter. A typed letter. Here we go. This is from Sam. Hi, Joel. I'm Sam, a follower of your channel and a Washington neighbor of yours in Tacoma. I'm curious if you are or were a software developer. I'm 43 of age, recently acquired my bachelor's degree of science and in computer science and currently searching for a job. If you were or were in the software development industry, I'd love to chat with you sometime about a little advice and guidance in general Q&A. Yeah, I was, um, let's see, I started out as a test engineer and then rose through the ranks through different companies and became a software engineer in test. So essentially it just meant rather than like black box testing or white box testing or clear box testing or whatever you want to call it, uh, I would develop test plans and then I would use script to run automation for testing. Uh, oh, and there is a PS. I'm an avid RC helicopter pilot. Love the FR Sky product line and anything that flies. I usually fly at either Flaming Geyser State Park RC Flying Field or the Snohomish Cascade Model Heli Club. Additionally, I just finished 3D printing the Northern Pike airplane. It's free on Thingiverse and almost on building it. It'd be fun to fly a huge version of it. Sincerely, Sam a.k.a. Sam2B. Well, thanks for the letter, Sam. That's really kind of you. RC stuff is wonderful. I really enjoy it. I, I don't ever have any time to do that sort of stuff. But uh, Flaming Geyser State Park, I remember they're going as a kid. And I remember, let's see, Flaming Geyser State Park, is that the one that has like the, the, the equipment you can play on and jump around and then you have to, and then you, or no, that's, is that, there's no longer a geyser. Isn't there like a natural gas sort of line that, that has a flame, but it's not really a, a geyser? I don't know. I'm trying to remember. Well, anyway, that's cool. Thanks for the letter, Sam. Next up. This is from a J.W. Cobble. A J.W. Cobble. Ooh. Ooh. We have a bunch of stuff inside here. Okay, and that's it. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a, a treasure chest. It's got a $20 bill for a tongue. The print quality on this is uh, utterly fantastic. Hey Joel, thank you for all the hard work you do introducing the technical world of 3D printing in a fun and easy way. More than once, your videos have been a deciding factor when picking out a printer, solving a tricky problem, or improving a printer before a problem strikes, such as the Sidewinder X1 PTFE2 warning. I've heard from a number of people who are able to fix their PTFE tubing on that. So that, I'm glad it helped you out. Do you have any tips on disposing filament spools? After several months of printing puzzle boxes and PPE visors, I've collected a large tower. The only thing I can really suggest is to reach out to filament manufacturers and see if they want them. I don't know. It, it's also going to depend on your municipality and whether or not that sort of plastic can be accepted for recycling. You could create creative things with them. There really isn't a good solution at this point. If you find one, let me know. I've sent you a puzzling treasure chest box I designed. Hopefully you'll enjoy discovering the secret to opening it. Don't worry, you won't have to solve the mystery access to access my contribution to Seattle Children's Hospital. High five, JW Cobble. So it's just printed on the Prusa Mark III S and the Sidewinder X1. The blue, the blue is high five blue. Filamentum Extra Fill Gold Happens PLA. Hobby King Gold Silk PLA for some of the internal stuff. There is a Thingiverse link and pre-assembled prints coming soon to this address. So, looks like there's going to be some stuff I'm going to have to put in the description. I will keep this handy. Uh, for now, though, well, let's see. I think we should take a moment and, and, and try to try to solve this, right? Let's see. That, that pushed in. Okay. I don't know if it was supposed to, but this pushed in. I didn't break anything. Supposed to. Everything must move. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. So.
This is a $20 bill. This is a puzzle box. This is going to take me a lot more time to figure out, and so maybe we do that at the end. But for now, uh, I think what we should do, here, we'll put this aside. Stamped envelope right here. Let's take care of business. First things first. Now, uh, that's a tricky puzzle, but you also have an envelope here, and uh, you, you gave a bunch of money to Seattle Children, so it's only appropriate that you get stickers. Finally tonight, this is from N3D Tech, Prototyping On Demand Production. I sent them a note because I wanted to see the kind of stuff that they can provide, and they sent me this box. Let's take a look and see what they do. It's wrapped nicely. Manufacturing services, of course. Really though, I want to see the parts. Come on! Show me the parts. Okay. This is where it's going to get probably the coolest. Oh, no way. Okay. So, here's a box. It's got some good designs on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do the white box. There we go. So it's got these designs on it. It looks pretty cool. It does say in 3D tech right there, and there's a little nubbin, so. <laughs> Maybe that's not supposed to bend like that. Well, here, let's try this one. So here it is. Okay. Oh, so this hinge, whatever this black material is, this hinge looks to be a little bit better. Waka, 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 waka. Well, Harry, I'll tell you what, um, at this point, I'll give you the sign off and then we'll attempt this for a little bit. If you made it this far, you're awesome. A big thanks to everyone who sent something in. If you'd like to send something in, it's never required, but there is an address in the description of every video, just in case you feel the need to send something in. Uh, be well, be safe, be awesome, hug each other more and from a safe distance. High five. It broke. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Okay, well, I'm sorry. It looks like um, there were, I could push on this part right here and, and apparently I wasn't supposed to. Well, shoot. I'm sorry. It's got some... I think I broke it. Like, I think it's legitimately broken. I'm sorry. Maybe there's a way to get it open now? Oh, I see. Oh, and then that... Interesting. Okay. Well, it does say 3D printing nerd there. I'm sorry I broke it. I didn't... I didn't know. I guess I was, uh... <laughs> I was pressing too hard, I guess. But it looks like it's an interesting box. Um, maybe... Oh yeah, that's broke too. So, I'll reach out. I'll try to find a way to uh, either fix this or reprint parts because uh, I did not open the solution and I won't. I won't open up the solution. I just, uh, I feel bad because I, uh, I think this would have been a lot of fun. So it looks like, uh, I don't know. It looks like I stood on it or something. Well, thanks for this. I'll reach out. We'll get a. We'll either get it fixed or we'll get a, a better one working to me. And uh, I'm. 
I'm really sorry I broke it. I'm sorry.